Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Hashtag Ask Rob Co. Hope you're all well, hope you're having a good week. Weather hasn't been so great as last week. Um, let's be positive. Just want to start with the tennis because last week we spoke about Mia hoping and praying that Emma Raducanu would you know, go all the way and win and she, she absolutely did that and made the entire country proud to which anyone watching would have seen it. It was just a phenomenal experience, a, a once in a lifetime achievement to which every young female or even male out there aspiring to achieve anything in life she just showed that you know where there's a will and uh, and there's work and a dream and a wish involved that everything's possible and i i, I just was blown away uh, the whole weekend by that and uh, i'm sure quite a few of you have messaged and we've discussed and you all shared the same so i just think a highlight of the week maybe the month maybe the whole summer was just just so beautiful to watch um from a work perspective i've been traveling all over europe uh, the last few months so really getting back into things in this new post current covid world i'm getting out there seeing all of the clients again which is what i love the most it what excites me the most seeing you sharing all of the knowledge and information and the stories and the experiences and the sales and the data and the trends and the patterns sharing all that with you is is everything that i love so i really hope um, to get to see as many of you as i can and that's why i do what i do every day and every night um, because it's what i love so much okay let's see what's going on the ground over the last week since we last spoke. As I would have said a month ago, schools went back, the holiday season is pretty much done with, and this week the headline, new instructions has gone north substantially to 333. It's a really big uptake, and if we would have seen a month ago in the peak of the summer, um, they would have been in the the low or to mid 180s, it's pretty much doubled. And I think the market is now gonna drive forward as it normally does. The last quarter of the year is the one where you see most transactions. Um, it might be slightly skewed this year because of the stamp duty position, obviously, and the tremendous volume we saw. But seasonally speaking, the last quarter is a good quarter and I fully expect that to continue. And I think we're gonna see a good October and a good November to see out what has been a phenomenal year in residential um, lending and residential sales, and also the uptick and the upturn in the commercial world, as we've been reporting, is getting stronger and stronger, and hopefully there'll be a, a normality about 2022. Um, other headline numbers, the sold figures for the last week still hovering around the 150. They're pretty static, but with those new instructions coming on, it's only going to take a matter of weeks before that number turns up and we're in the 200s again and seeing solid, solid figures. Something that the agents have been saying to me, struggling with stock, struggling with stock, not enough stock, um, which has been fueling multiple bids and premiums being paid at all areas in the market. I was speaking to one of our um, good client lenders yesterday and she was sharing with me um, the stories of, of how so many people have been um, overbidding by five or 10% just to secure a property. Uh, and that was at the lower end of the market. And these themes that um, maybe we've been reporting over the last few weeks about premiums on Prime, Super Prime. They all um, funnel down. Uh, a trend at one point uh, generally repeats across uh, all levels in all areas of the country. So I think that's probably a key point of how the market is performing at the moment with lots of demand, um, very limited supply that's fueling uh, a lot of competition, a lot of bidding, and and uh, premiums being paid for properties. Um, 
in the general theme out there in the market, I, I'm, I'm very much hoping that the end of September, October, November brings maybe the most stable, um, more certain marketplace that we've seen for over a year and a half and near, near on 20 months um, with everything with COVID. And I think that's exciting. I think it's exciting because there's nothing like a bit of normality and a bit of certainty. It's what uh, we all want uh, to a degree in the world. No one loves extreme uncertainty and not knowing uh, what's going to be happening next. And you just feel from the, the streets and the energy and the people that are out there of what I've been seeing and the, the work uh, and the transactions that we're currently on, you just uh, get the sense of um, more normalized trading conditions. And I think that's good for everyone, for their mental health, for well-being, for security, for the future. Um, I think everyone really wants that. So I'm really excited about the last quarter that we're heading into now. I'm really excited about what the remainder of this year is going to bring and what 2022 is also going to bring in, in terms of the work that we're doing and in terms of me getting out there and, and seeing you all again. Um, on a more generic uh, note, going to be pushing out more podcasts, going to be pushing out more in engagement and activity with our community, the lending community, the property community, the sales community, um, everything commercial and residential, real estate, really going to um, raise our engagement, raise our activity with all of you, provide even more value, provide even more content, provide even more intel and data, and hopefully continue serving and providing uh, a, a service to our, our, our great community. And as always, that can be done through all the channels, whether it's YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, email, podcast, whatever, DMs, WhatsApp, whatever methodology or whatever communication, whatever social media you're working on, um, we're really going to push all of that. And please reach out like you are doing for meetings, for calls, for catch-ups. Uh, I'll do everything I can to be available. I'm going to start the university circuit um, in a few weeks' time, heading off to Westminster, my favourite, my home, uh, my place of graduation. Um, I think that, that's the first uh, we've got booked in for this year, but we're going to be hitting all the universities and reaching out to all of you um, um, students and the grads and the post-grads and the APCs and the surveyors, all of you out there, we're here for you and we're going to be providing as much help and support as we can. That's all for this week. James has been away, uh, a well-earned break for him. He'll be back with us next week. and We will provide you with even more information, more detail on everything that's going on in the property world. Everyone take care, be safe, be well. Thank you for your amazing support and help. Super grateful. And we'll see you all next week. Take care. Thank you.